Welcome to the final day of Brentwood Union School District's recognition of our employees. Today we'll be recognizing our final retirees for the 2019-2020 school year. Our first retiree is Karen Nielsen. Karen served the students and families of Brentwood for 33 years and is retiring from Guerin Elementary School. Hey everyone, this is Matt Daly, principal at Guerin Elementary School, and it is my pleasure to share with you Karen Nielsen's retirement presentation. Karen has a professional biography that starts in Brentwood. She started teaching in 1986 at Brentwood Elementary School, teaching kindergarten and fourth grade until 1991. From there, she went to Ronan Elementary to teach fourth grade, third grade, and became a kindergarten and TSA from the years 91 to 2004. In 2000, 2004 at Loma Vista Elementary, she was a TSA. 2004 to 2006, she taught kindergarten at Cray Elementary. From 2006 to 2010, Karen was a, a wonderful Far East County, Far East Contra County BITSA induction program coordinator and was also the director. In 2010 to 2011, she began teaching second grade at Garen Elementary School. In 2012 and 2013, she taught kindergarten. And for the last seven years, starting in 2013, Karen has been our wonderful and magnificent transitional kindergarten teacher. Karen has many contributions to the education profession. She served as a teacher leader in many capacities at the site, district, and county level. Her professional development, she was a professional development provider for Off to a Good Start, induction mentors and administrators, and she did guided reading and STEM for the district. She wrote the induction program for the Far East, for Far East Contra Costa County. She also has 35 years of teaching and supporting thousands of students and their families. What they are known for. Well, Karen has an abundance of know-how. It doesn't matter if it's instructional needs or PD needs. If we know what we want, Karen knows how to make it happen. She's also a very skilled and loving teacher who always knows how to get the best from her students. Karen has such a great dedication and respect for PLCs because she loves to collaborate with people. Karen also always sees the big picture she puts her students first above anything else. Karen is a vast wealth of knowledge of instructional knowledge. Karen also has the patience of a saint and the will of a lion. Karen wants to remember for creating a love for learning in all learners, the youngest TK kids to adult learners, and she certainly excels at all levels. She wants to remember for building a strong foundation for students and their families in their first year of their educational journey. Karen wants to be remembered for Soup Opera at Garen, which is a great show every year, and a school-wide and school-wide events like Spring Dance and Olympics at Brentwood L and Ron Nunn. And she also wants to know seeing opportunity no matter the challenge. Karen, you will be missed here at Garen. And we just wish you luck and success and enjoyment in your retirement. Thank you so much. Our next retiree to be honored today is Luana Schwartz. Luana has worked in BUSD for seven years and is retiring from Mary Casey Black Elementary School. Hi, my name is Maria Gonzalez. I'm the principal at Mary Casey Black Elementary School, and I'm here to talk to you all about our wonderful Mrs. Schwartz. We are definitely going to miss, miss Mrs. Schwartz um, in her retirement, but we wish her the best of luck. And I'd like to first start off just saying that prior to her coming to Brentwood, Lou owned a personal business, um, cleaning business, 
And then 1987, she started working for the Oakley Union School District, where she worked until 1997. From 1997 until 2013, Lou worked as a sub in Brentwood, where she landed a position full-time at Mary Casey Black Elementary School. Just her contributions, just a few of her contributions to our educational profession is that she is an amazing person who valued our staff, our students, and our families. Her easygoing personality allowed for students and staff to embrace her. And that was just it. You can walk anywhere on our campus and if you saw her, her smile immediately told you that you can approach her with any question. And she never ever said no. Um, just her dedication was unwavering. Uh, she has a very strong work ethic and a can-do attitude. And so anything you needed, um, Lou was there to support anyone. Our staff is just saddened by her retirement and they wanted to share what Lou is known for. Um, just a few things to pick up that Lou was definitely known for going the extra mile, that she would drop anything to help anyone. Her smile, her laughter, her kindness, her friendliness is one that definitely will be missed. She was such a kind and loving spirit. She did everything for all of our staff and our families. And as you can see that uh, many of our staff just can't say enough about what impact she had on our school community. What Lou wants to be remembered for is saying, um, she stated that she felt like MCB was her family. She was really attached to our kids. She felt like our staff was her family, enjoyed the stories that they would share with her. And Lou, we will miss you. You are our family. And we wish you the very best in your retirement. Thank you for everything you've done. You've been an amazing spirit on our campus for many years. Our final retiree for the 2019-2020 school year is Kim Sutherland. Kim has spent 21 years working in BUSD and is retiring from Cray Elementary School. Hi, this is Brian Jones, principal at Cray Elementary School, speaking on behalf of Kim Sutherland, who is our retiree for this school year. Kim's educational career took off back in 1988. For seven years, she did stay home to raise her two daughters, Christy and Holly. She's obviously a huge Raiders fan. And this year in 2020, Kim is walking away from education at a point in her career where she loves her job. In 1988, Kim started to teach both second and third grades while in Cupertino School District. Later, she moved to Washington, but then had a return to California. Again, she raised her two girls for seven years while away from teaching. When she returned after they joined elementary school, she started to sub at Ron Nunn, and they quickly realized what they had there and offered her a long-term teaching job. She moved to Edna Hill and taught fifth grade, and later, when Edna Hill changed and became a middle school, Kim jumped to Cray in 2002 and is one of our originals, where she's taught fourth grade and several years of a four or five combo. Contributions to the classroom. This is something written by Lori Leach. If you have stepped into the room and have immediately felt welcomed, accepted, and at complete ease, then experienced any personal psychological variable, academic, social, emotional, behavioral, barrier knocked down, then increased in self-confidence and desire to explore, learn, and even take risks, then if you embrace the power of yet, I can't do this yet, then believe that the best way to treat obstacles is to use them as stepping stones and that challenges are chances to grow, then realize that it's hard to beat a person that never gives up, then learn that the mind is a muscle and the more you use it, the stronger it gets, then grasp that smart is something you become, not something you are. Then feel certain that room 32 is the coolest place to be in. You have been a student in Mrs. Sutherland's class.
what Kim is known for. She is a true gem of a teacher. Kim is compassionate, patient, and loves her students. Kim is an excellent role model for other staff members from Nicole Alder. Kim has always been open to fully including all students into her classroom, no matter what challenges might await her. Her passion and excitement to teach math helped all students understand the concept she was introducing on a higher level. While teaching science, she would slip on that bright white lab coat she truly and truly became the professor from Holly Morello. Her wit, along with flexibility and level-headedness, have made her an outstanding team member. Her ability to find joy and humor in our job has made me a better teacher from Ali Popovich. Kim is a mentor. She sets the bar for greatness as an educator, colleague, and friend. She inspires me to be a better teacher in person. I will miss her, Chris Vanderheide. And from the students of room 32, if the Raiders win, there is no homework. What Kim would like to be remembered as, she wants to be known as working as a team player. She wants her students to say that they learned a lot, that they felt successful, and they would leave their last day of school feeling like they can't wait to come back. Students would feel respected and accepted no matter what. Students would also claim that Mrs. Sutherland is their biggest fan. And Kim Sutherland would like everyone to know that as she leaves us at the end of the school year into retirement, that she has felt blessed going to work every day. Congratulations, Kim Sutherland. We will miss you. Thank you to Karen, Luana, and Kim for your service to the students, families, and community of Brentwood. Congratulations on your retirement. We wish you the very best. I wanna thank you for joining me for this series of videos recognizing the amazing employees of Brentwood Union School District. Our school district is exemplary because of our employees. Congratulations to all of the award recipients who have been recognized.